in the last video we have discussed about formula field and we have seen how can we write a formula data type field which will automatically calculate a few things and can display in your variable okay and formula field is what we use for a lot of automations right and, and and a lot of automation definitely we don't have to write code instead we can write a formula field and calculate so many things in this video we're gonna talk about something called validation rule validation rule in salesforce is very important to capture the the validated data okay so let's understand this in in that way salesforce is a database and business they use salesforce to hold all their business data into cloud when it is a database definitely you cannot insert any data it has the data that you are entering it has to be validated by the system so to enter the data and to to validate the data we as an admin write something called validation rule for an example let's say i'm going to opportunity now if you click on new button you can actually enter any data you want there is no specific rule that has been defined here whatever data you enter here system will capture the data without any validations but what if your business said hey you know what um whenever any of the business user create a new opportunity the amount by mistake sometimes they enter the amount in negative like they put like minus some number so business said to you you are the admin saying hey admin can you please put up some rule which will enforce the user to enter only the positive number because amount cannot be negative in opportunity right so this is where you as an admin have to define a rule and tell the system hey system whenever a record is getting captured into opportunity definitely go and check what is the amount is it negative is it uh, in minus if it is you throw an error saying you cannot insert a negative amount in while creating an opportunity so this is where validation rule comes in the picture to validate the data any data you cannot insert the data should be validated so that the business should be able to capture only the validated data inside the system another example let's say whenever you create a new opportunity you cannot create an opportunity with closed status because you're just creating it the opportunity will be created with let's say prospecting then it will be qualification then need analysis then so and so it cannot be closed on initially or closed lost now how do you restrict this how do you make sure the system should go and check hey you're creating a new opportunity then it cannot be closed or you're updating then no, don't worry you can do this closed down closed lost but if you're creating for the first time it cannot be closed status this is where validation rule comes to the picture where you as an admin will go and define a validation rule for the opportunity object and the validation rule will fire it will check what is the stage if the stage is closed while creating error right so validation rules are definitely a sort of a formula i mean and that's why we have learned formula first and then validations so validation rule is where we as an admin will go and write some formula by using the same functions right and we'll make sure the system will run the validation rule first and then if the validation rule satisfied if the amount is greater than zero but if the amount is isn't positive then only system will allow the user to create the data all right so this is what validation rule is now i'm going to go and show you how to create a validation rule so basically validation rule you would be creating for one of this object for our example let's say i want to create a validation rule for opportunity where i have to go and create the validation rule for opportunity definitely in the opportunity object so go to setup Select uh, Object Manager, and uh, once you select Object Manager, go to Opportunity Object. If you go to Opportunity Object, correct, this is the Opportunity Detail page. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see in the end something called Validation Rule. 
click on the validation rule so far there is no rule has been created for the opportunity object i'm gonna go as an admin and create a new validation rule when you create a new validation rule you have to first define a name i'm giving name as amount should not be in negative that's the name okay do provide a description and here you have to write the validation rule okay and when you create the rule you have many functions over here so all you need to know as an admin is how to use most of these functions so that you can use these functions and you'll be able to create the rule now to create a validation rule which will not allow the user to create an opportunity if the amount is in negative what i have to do is i have to go and select the field called amount like do you see this button called insert field click on this and select here amount yeah i have selected amount here click on insert amount is selected right and uh, how do you make sure if it is um if it is not in minus is you have to check if the amount is less than zero very simple you are checking before the record is getting inserted into the opportunity object if the amount is less than zero then you'll be showing some error let's write some error message here amount cannot be in negative now after you define the rule here uh, by the way this is a very simple and straightforward rule that we have written probably in the next example we will try to explore a little complex um, a rule and uh, because it's a it's a simple rule where i don't have to check uh, the syntax is exactly correct but ideally when your rule is little complex when you use multiple functions from here right you have to check the syntaxes okay so check the syntax and check if you have any wrong in the syntax if it is then you'll not be able to save it right so my syntax is fully correct next thing is validation rule is basically a rule which will validate the data if it is uh, if the data is not satisfying the validation rule you will get an error now the now the next thing is where you want the system to define the error message in the top of the screen or just below the amount field if you want to define the error message in top of the screen not related to any field then you have to go in the validation rule and select the error location as the top of the page if not then select the field and in our case it is amount so i have selected amount and save that's it by the way this is a very simple validation rule that you have written and uh, let us go and learn first the simplest one after that i'm gonna make this example a little more complex and we'll try to create complex validation rule okay now how do i test this in order to test this validation rule first of all you have to make sure that the uh, rule is active sometime we create the rule but the rule is not active so the rule will not fire whenever you create the opportunity so my rule is active here i'm going to go in the opportunity and create a new opportunity with minus some data okay select close date like something here test see when you click on save the validation rule will fire and i have got the error message here amount cannot be negative what if i edit the same validation rule this time i'm gonna go and change the error location to top of the page and save done let's see now where you get the error see now i got the error here amount cannot be negative right i'm gonna click on cancel button click on new and uh, select the necessary dummy data just give a negative number click on save see here i got the error message ideally in in a uh, classic it comes in the top of the um page but in lightning it looks like this review the error message here you get it i'll just quickly go and switch to classic and show you how it looks like in classic the error message so i have switched to classic here i'll go to opportunity okay and create a new opportunity give a name close date 
this amount is less than zero click on save see in the uh, classic you will actually see in the top of the page amount cannot be negative but in lightning it looks like that uh, the dialog box okay but i hope you understand how to create a simple validation rule and how to showcase the error message uh, whether in the top of the page or in the uh, in, in below of the field right and this is where you have to write the rule and uh, in the next example i'm going to use this uh, few of the uh, few of the functions to create a validation rule all right so see you in the next video